I've been a dancer all my life and I've been really involved with music and theater as well. And my sophomore year of college uh, at Clarion University as a business major, I noticed that there was um, a need in the community for a place uh, that offers classes in dance um, in, a, in an atmosphere that was encouraging and inspiring for young students and um, also offered them more opportunities in music and in theater. And um, I received an email that all the business students received for a business plan competition through the Pennsylvania State School System. And I decided to go, go for it. And I started working with um, the Clarion University Small Business Development Center in developing a business plan for the competition. Um, and kind of just saw it as an opportunity to uh, work out some of my ideas. Um, so I started planning for it and um, doors kept opening and so even when I lost the competition in April, um, I was still ready to move forward with the business idea. Um, we've been in business for about a year and a half. Um, so again, it would have been March of 2013. I was in the middle of the business plan competition. Things were falling in line, doors were opening, and I realized that this, this can be a reality with or without the, the contest. And so March of 2013, I held uh, an open forum meeting uh, for the community. Probably had 30 families represented there. Uh, just for an opportunity to ask questions and for me to cast the vision of Clarion Center for the Arts and officially let the word out. Um, and so in May of 2013, I opened up registration for classes. Um, I signed a lease that summer um, and we moved in at the end of August and uh, started classes in September with 150 students right off the bat. So 150 students on the first day of classes, in which was uh, primarily because of word of mouth. Um, people heard about it, um, they were excited about it, and then they told all their friends. My dad has always been a big influence for me and, and in setting an example for what a leader should do, what a leader should look like, and something that he um, has instilled in me and my siblings at a young age is the importance of uh, walking with the wise, of having wise counsel around you. Um, and so that, even if you're not sure of what you want to do, just be around people that you respect, people you admire, that you can learn from. And then when the time comes that you can ask them for advice. Um, for me, having Janet around or even being connected with the Clarence University Small Business Development Center, um, just being able to go to um, so many different people when I had questions and um, getting uh, advice from them and wise counsel and, and not having to make any decisions on my own. Um, it's something that I've learned is very beneficial. I was a university student when I started. Uh, so I was a full-time student and running a business full-time, which was crazy, but I wouldn't have done it any other way. Um, I think if you have an idea um, and you want to start a business, don't wait until you're out of college. For one thing, I uh, was still able to live with my parents. <laughs> I'm still under their health insurance, so it saves um, some money in that respect. Um, and you really you don't have any other responsibilities as a, as a college student. It's kind of just you and whatever you want to do and um, you're not worried about a family yet or anything like that. So if you have an idea, go for it. And yes, it's hard and it's stressful, but it's worth it in the long run, especially when you can graduate college and already know what you're doing. It's wonderful. It's fun. It's um, uh, weird at times, especially since you know one of my employees was my dance teacher growing up. Last year I had an employee who was my babysitter when I was younger, so <laughs> that's kind of fun. Um, and then I've got some friends, so sometimes you know you've got to balance that uh, um, the relationship that you once had with okay, I I have to um, set the bar. I've got to tell them what is expected of them, and um, but uh, they are just wonderful people and again, share the vision uh, so it's not difficult at all. My dream is to someday own my own facility with my own stage that we can do shows at any time that we want. Um, so I'm looking, I'm looking toward that, you know, still trying to decide if um, Clarion uh, is, is ready for it. Clarion's a small town, but I do think that Clarion's in a fantastic location being between Pittsburgh and Erie and, 
um, I think that there is some opportunity for a lot of growth with the arts here in Clarion.